Today's video is going to be on meal prep. Basically, it's a word that gets thrown around a lot in the fitness industry. You hear lots of different people talking about meal prepping all over Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. And I'm here today to show you how I meal prep to stay on track throughout the week. Basically, what I've done is it's very, very simple. I have a couple of different ingredients. I've got my vegetables here in the form of frozen veg. I have the mixed veg from the Green Giant brand, and then I've also got uh, Green Giant broccoli. So that's my veg of choice. I've got four different packets of it. Boxes are gonna be very full with veg throughout the week. Next up, I have chicken. Just over two kg of chicken, um, which is gonna keep me tied over in terms of hitting my protein goals. Also making sure that I'm staying full. Lastly then, this is a big one. I have this pasta, it's called Whole Wheat Fusilli. I picked it up in a place called Spinney's. The big difference about this is not only is it whole wheat, which will mean it will be higher in fiber, but also per 100G, it's only 135 calories, which is absolutely astonishing for any pasta. Regular pasta you see on the shelves, white pasta per 100G is generally 360 calories. So it's around about a third of the amount of carbs in comparison to regular pasta. And also you're saving a ton of calories on this. So this is one I definitely pick up if you're looking to lose weight or just if you want to eat more. Basically, they're my three ingredients. Lastly then, what I have is I have my sauce. So I go for the low fat Dalmio sauce. I have two, uh, two different ones of this, 1000 G's there. And also I've been a little bit cheeky because I've got the intense spicy chili, which does have a few more calories in it. But again, it's minimal and it's going to make the meal that bit tastier. So it's not very bland and I can enjoy eating it. I'm going to take you through how I'm going to cook up all the meals now and I'm going to show you my lunch boxes. It's all about organization. If you can get organized for the week ahead, you're already two steps ahead in terms of reaching your goals. Just on a little side note, I've just gone through a few different foods that I will eat apart from the three lunch boxes a day. Basically, bananas are something I have quite a bit. Unsweetened almond milk is also a key feature in my diet. I do have these beans that are the reduced sugar ones quite often. As well, I go for the oats, it doesn't really matter, these are the Quaker ones. Protein yogurts, uh, peanut butter, Jif peanut butter, using it sparingly. Whole wheat flour for the protein pancakes. Some eggs, which is going to boost up the fat content that I'm missing out on from the three lunch boxes a day. And finally, a meal that you've seen me had a little bit, it is the Weedabix protein. So I've got all these going on here and then my three lunch boxes. Apart from that, I'm not really eating anything else throughout the week. I decided to boil the chicken as opposed to cooking it on the pan. I've just lobbed it into two massive saucepans so I can just boil it up there. It's gonna be handy. Just wait maybe 30 minutes for it to boil over and then put them into the lunch boxes that are right here. It's gonna save me the hassle of frying them up on the pan, having to constantly turn them and whatnot, so. We've got the chicken here guys, all 2.15 kg of it. We're gonna distribute it out evenly throughout the lunch boxes. No need for precise measurements as it's all gonna balance out throughout the week anyways. I've got the veg on, so that's cooking up. So while I'm distributing this out into each lunch box, the veg is cooking. Hopefully by the time I'm finished, my veg will have cooked so I can get that into lunch boxes and then start the pasta process. I would like to say guys, that the broccoli I've chosen, the frozen broccoli, has a lot less calories than the mixed veg. However, I am all about balance and I do like to have more veggies than just uh, 50 different lunch boxes of broccoli. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents and I thought, wow, if I could take this in a shop right now, I don't think that Just got ahead and added in the veg, guys. 150 grams of veg for every lunch box, roughly. You know, it's gonna balance itself out as I did say. The reason why I love veg is because it's so volumizing. Of course, you're getting in your essential micronutrients, uh, vitamins and minimums throughout the veg, but because it's so low in calories, you can lob in a ton of it through the lunchbox and you're not bumping up the cows in every lunchbox. It's definitely something I'd recommend for absolutely everybody, particularly those looking to lose weight because because it's high in fiber, it will keep you fuller for longer. Team veg. I don't know if it's fair, but I thought how could I let you fall by yourself? Well, I'm wasted for someone else. If we go down, then go down together. They'll say you could do anything. They'll say that I was clever. If we go down, then we go down together. We'll get away. Have it, guys. 50 lunch boxes full up with pasta, chicken, and veg. 
The calorie breakdown, 493 calories in every lunch box. I eat three on a daily basis, so it's just shy of 1500 calories. You're looking at 51 grams of carbohydrates, eight of which are sugars, nine grams of fiber. You're looking at a whopping 56 grams of protein and five grams of fat, all per lunch box. If you did want to cut out the sauce, you'd be saving only 35 calories. So to be honest, for the sake of 35 calories, I would definitely include the sauce. Don't be afraid to put sauce into your meals. Just know what's right for you and what's not. Let's show them we are better. Let's show them we are better. I'm not going to be using them until two days time. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to freeze the entire lot of them. And then I take them out the night before to defrost overnight before having them the following day. Let's get them in the freezer then, just to make sure that they don't go off. That's pretty much it lads, that's meal prepping in a nutshell. I've got 15 lunch boxes prepared for the next 5 days. So I'll have 3 lunch boxes a day and then I'll have around about 2 or 3 other meals keeping me on track. One of the main benefits that I do find from meal prepping, never mind, it means the fact that you're going to be a lot more organized, but also it saves you picking up snacks on the go, which can be very costly and which can also be very unhealthy at times. That's why I always find meal prepping, you know, you're never going to be in a situation where you need to pick up a snack because you're always going to have a lunchbox on hand. If this video did help guys or you think it may help somebody, please tag them in the comments, give it a like or share it into your WhatsApp group. Until the next time. See you.